Let's go. All right, all right, all right. So here's what we got going on today. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. Please hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Good folks over at Cut Golf sent me some balls and we're gonna test them out today, see how they uh, perform. They are uh, one of the least expensive, high quality golf balls on the market. Kind of what they say is the most affordable. We have the Cut Blue. A dozen of these goes for $19.95, right there. We have their top model four piece uh, tour quality urethane cover ball. Uh, equivalent to like your Pro V1. We'll see about that. There's their Blue DC model and a uh, dozen of these $29.95. Right there. Okay. We're going to put it up against my current favorite ball, the Volvic S4, which I really love. We'll test it out against the granddaddy of them all, the Titleist Pro V1. Okay. We'll also go against the Volvic S3. So here we go. We're going to um, put the uh, Cut Golf to the test, do some short game work, use all the different balls, and we'll go on the course, see they perform hitting it to the green, and of course, with the driver as well, see which one actually goes farther. Uh, here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take um, three of every ball and just throw them in my box here, okay? So I've got the Volvic S3 right there. I've got the Pro V1s right here. Throw those in there. Three in there. We've got the Volvic S4. I'm gonna put three in there. Boom. The Cut Golf. These are the, uh, what do they say? Cut Blue. These are the Cut Blues, okay. Nice feel, okay, looks good. And then we've got the Cut Blue DC. Those are those. Okay. Got my, got my box of balls. They all are white. When we do long drive, I have one Volvic S3. It's orange. And for some reason, when I hit the balls, that orange one always goes the farthest. So I'm going to use that just for the long drive. Just see what happens. Yes, you could tell what ball you're hitting. Uh, when they're on the ground because they all look a little bit different, but I just don't want to have any particular order. I just want to do it and uh, we'll use that. Here we go. Like there was a standout. Keep going. Okay, after a further review, I noticed that these three are the cut, cut blue, cut blue DC, and cut blue DC. So two out of the three that were short were the cut blue DC, and the other one was the cut blue. I did make one of the cut golf ones, and that was the um, the blue. Okay, and the other blue is right here. Okay, so that's a good one. But my two shortest, the three shortest were the cuts, the cut golf. I did make one. Just in case you're wondering, those are the shortest. The rest are gimmies. Okay, something I don't like very much is a hard golf ball out of the sand. It's gotta really perform, so obviously, we're gonna get some good feel out of the sand, see what happens. Pretty good. All of those felt great. Uh, again, I can't say there's one standout golf ball, so. That's good. So far, oh, the only standout is the price. 29 versus uh, 49 for the Volvic, 47 for the Titleist dozen. 
So just in case you're wondering, we got a um, cut blue DC. This is Volvic S3, Volvic S4, Pro V1. Those are all kick-ins. This is a Volvic S4 Titleist. This is a Cut Golf Blue, Volvic S4, Cut Golf Blue, Cut Golf Blue, Volvic S4, Cup DC, Pro V1, DC, Volvic S4. There's a, just an equal spattering among all of them. I can't say, it's not like all the Pro Vs were next to the hole and the, the others weren't. This is, and it's really based on my performance not ball, but ball reaction out of the bunker was equal, equally as good, and the sound and feel was uh, pretty much identical throughout. So again, it's not like, you know, sometimes you get a ball, you're like, ooh, that sounds different. None of that's happening, at least not yet. We're gonna hit some farther shots now. Okay, we're right at 100 yards. We're gonna fire away at this stick, a lot of balls but it's worth it, you're worth it. Here we go. Got a 54 degree wedge, see what happens. Okay, so I would consider all of these in this zone to be pretty much the same same distance. There's three that are short and it's a Pro V1, a cut DC, and another cut DC. Okay, so there's all the DCs. Um, then we've got a cut blue Pro V1, S4, Pro V1, S4, S4, S3, S3, cut blue. All right, it looks like the Volvics are a little more consistent. I miss hit one, that was that super short one. And then the, uh, the Pro Vs are very consistent. So all the balls are pretty consistent. So I wouldn't say one's like dramatically better than the other in terms of uh, flight into a hundred yarder. However, I felt like the cut blues definitely went higher coming in. So if that's something to note. That's good to know. We're gonna go hit driver and then see how they perform there. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna set up my swing caddy so we can see the different. Oh, also there's a uh, link in the description below. You get a nice discount on this guy. It's cool when you just take it out on the golf course, throw it down, tells you your numbers. So um, check that out as well. It's the best little launch monitor I found. Okay, so we'll put that here. I have all my balls. I hit a lot of balls out there. Gosh, all right, here we go. Oh, and I got the one orange Volvic S3. This is the uh, this is the one that always goes the farthest. The orange one, the S3, I don't know why. Here we go. Oh, I got that high draw down the left side of the fairway. Let's go find those and get, just take the good ones that I find and we'll see uh, what happened. Let's go. Okay, I've got a couple here. Cut golf, that's the blue, not the DC. And I've got one right here, right next to it. Volvic S4. But what I'm curious about really are these guys in the fairway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six right here in the fairway. There's one right there in the rough, seven. Okay, shortest one in the fairway. Shortest one in the fairway, Pro V1, all right? This was pulled left. Um, that's a cut, cut blue DC that I pulled left. All right, next shortest in the rough, Pro V1. All right, this guy. This one was a well hit ball, Pro V1. Shortest one, next shortest one in the fairway, Pro V1, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, Pro V1. This ball hit and backed up. Right there, did it, boom, ball. What do you got? Volvic S4. Volvic S4, all right. Second, second or third longest, right here. Same, same situation. Divot, ball was right here, divot ball. 
Cut golf blue. Cut golf blue. Went pretty far. All right, got that one. Farthest one. Not the farthest one, <laughs> but one of the farthest. Oh, watch out. Look at this. Divot ball. Divot ball. It is. Cut Golf Blue DC, right down the middle of the fairway. Not the farthest one though, I got one up here. Let me show you, come on. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna count this off, because here's where I was. So we're gonna, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven yards farther than that cut was old Orange Ball himself. I told you, what is that? Look at that. That's the Volvic S3 orange ball. I, I don't know why it goes farther than everything else. So actually, actually there's one more ball. Look at that, there's a white one right there. Um, just maybe two yards past that. So if that's my ball, it didn't, the orange one didn't go the farthest. I just saw it, all right. What do we got? Oh boy, all right. Volvic S4. Volvic S4 by two yards over the S3. So it went, my top three, Cut Golf, DC, Orange Ball, Volvic S3, and then Volvic S4 were the top four, three longest. Huh, what does that tell you? In, uh, in Pro, where's Pro V1 at? Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, so of the ones I hit, I got one, two, three, Six, three, six, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I lost one. What did I lose? Oh, I think at sixteen, I lost two. Oh, that's not good. Okay, in case you were wondering, I lost a Volvic S4 in the trees and they cut blue DC in the trees. Anyway, found everything else. Not bad for like 16 shots. So here is my uh, summation of the cut golf golf balls. The golf balls by cut golf. Of the S, um, of the blue and the blue DC, uh, I do prefer the blue DC and it was one of the longer shots. The trajectory was very nice, equivalent to the Pro V1 and the S3 and S4 Volvix. So that I like. I, I found that the cut blue, it's a little bit lower compression. And so I believe it gets a lot more spin and it did go higher. So if you have a slower swing speed, the cut blue would be a good golf ball for you at $19.99 a dozen. Uh, it's a phenomenal golf ball. And at $29 a dozen, the DC, are you kidding me? Versus 47, 49, and the Pro V1, the same price, nearly 50 bucks. I mean, you're saving $20 a dozen. So for that, forget it. Would I switch? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money that you're gonna save, especially if you like a high quality golf ball, but you don't like uh, losing them. Uh, I would rather lose less money than more money. That's just me. I don't know about you, but whatever. So it's kind of like my, I don't know, unscientific test of the balls. I just get them on the course, see which one goes, how they spin, how they look and feel out in reality land. And I do like the, uh, the cut golf. So leave a link in the description below for these guys. Pretty affordable. I'm going to go play a, play a hole or two with it and uh, see how it goes. But, uh, Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you next time.